If a plus b is even, which of the following cannot be even? If you take a look at the answer choices, uh, we can see that there are a whole bunch of letters. And in this case, we just want to plug in our own numbers for a and b. Um, we can plug in whatever we want for a and b, just as long as we have a plus b equaling an even number. And there are only two scenarios which this is true. If a is an even number itself, and to that we add another even integer, for instance, like 2 plus 4, that's going to equal an even integer. Another scenario would be if a is odd, then b must also be odd. Uh, as an, another example, if we have 1 plus 3, that equals 4. So this is equal to an even integer. So basically what this shows is that a and b cannot be, uh, like one can't be even and the other can't be odd, um, vice versa, if one is odd, then um, you know, the other can't be even. So let's plug that in here. We have three times some number. And again, um, we can plug in what we want. So I'm going to go with even and even. I'm going to say a is 2 and b is 4. So a is equal to 3 times 6, which is equal to 18. Since this can equal an even number, a is out, right? Since the question is asking which of them cannot or can never be even. Um, next we have 2 times 6 times 6 again and this is equal to 36 times 2 or 72 but even before that we see this 2 and any number regardless of whether it's even or odd when you multiply that uh, any number times an even number the result is always even, right? So we can get that out of the way. Next we have 5 times 6, which is 30. Again, this turns out to be even, so we can cross that out. 5 times 2 plus 4, which is 6 plus 4, in this case, it turns out to be 34. Again, that's even, so we know D is out. Hopefully our answer is E, since that's all that remains, but we should check it anyway. We have 5 times 6 plus 5, and in fact, we do get an odd number. So E is the right answer choice. Now, if multiple one of these um, answer choices, um, let's say B turned out to be uh, 71 instead of 72. Uh, I know that's not the case, but let's just pretend that that was the answer you got. We would be stuck between B and E. The next step would be for you to plug in different A and B values. Um, in this case, it might be a good idea to plug in 1 and 3, like we mentioned, the other types of numbers, and then just plug that into B and E as well, and see if you can eliminate any from them. Um, but whenever you plug in your own number, and in this case we plugged in A is equal to 2, B is equal to 4, uh, make sure you do check all of your answer choices, A, B, C, D, and E.